Alright guys, it's Dave from Top 10 Apps UK. We're going to do the top 10 in the casual game section. Clear. Okay, so the first one up, we have got Paper Toss. Where basically, you toss a piece of paper at a bin while a fan blows. So, depending on um, the angle, depends on whether you get it on the bin. So, obviously, you've got to swipe your finger uh, at different angles and hopefully get it in. If you're totally out, you end up hitting your angry co workers. It's uh, got six levels. It's, uh, it's got nice high res graphics for low devices, animated paper, real office sounds, and various wind speeds from the fan. Very nice. In the number nine is Playmobil's Pirates. You can, uh, it's basically one, one of these sim type games, but you're a pirate. And you can pick your little guys, build your little houses, which generate money for you, so you can go and buy different things. And uh, go and sort of sail your ship to other islands get things like you do when you're a pirate um, lots of fun little 3d animations your little guys uh, you can pick your different boats as you get more money and buy a better boat obviously a better boat get further and it's a really nice little game once you've sort of clicked on how to use it and get used to the control it's very nice Next one up, we've got burgers, which really is a very simple game, but very addictive. Basically, you earn your money and stuff by making your burgers as fast as you can against the clock. So it tells you what burgers you want, and you've got to use the ingredients down the bottom. You click on them to create the different burgers. When you get the burgers, you go off, you get the money. Obviously, you can see here I've only got five ingredients. And you do get used to where they are, and you get faster and faster. But obviously, the further you go through the game, the more ingredients, the more complicated the burgers. You get side orders like drinks and fries, etc. Um, and the idea is that uh, you achieve your goal, which I did. Right, the next one is Lost Temple 2, which I think you've all seen this type of uh, format before, like Temple 1, etc. Um, but the nice thing I like about this one, obviously uh, you're running along, you're doing the, uh, your normal things, you know, you jump up, you swipe down to duck under, and you tilt your, your device left and right, but I think we're like a road sort of. You know, twist round like this one. There's a one where it does like a loop the loop. Uh, you'll see in a minute where you go sort of round a bend. Here we go. It's just really nice the way that was done. And uh, with most of these, you can obviously pick your different characters. That's Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Very nice game. Get it downloaded. This one is Kids Doodle. Kids Doodle. I'm not a kid, but I like to doodle. And if I'm going to doodle on something, I will be this one. So what you can do is you can pick your different colour backgrounds. Uh, every time you lift your finger, the thing changes colour. And it's sort of like drawn on neon. Um, I think it's got 18 different kinds of brushes. You know, like glow, neon, rainbow, crayon, sketchy. Uh, there's a movie mode where once you've finished it, you can click on movie and it actually shows you a, a little movie of your playing it. Uh, it's 
got a built-in gallery. You can pull in pictures, colour the pictures in. Yeah, it's very nice. Excellent for kids. Keeps them out of trouble. Put that on your tablet. And uh, they'll be there for ages. Next up is Guess the Movie. Guess the Movie. It's simple. Well, you would think it was simple. You've got little pictures. You've got guess what pictures they are. Well, movies. That one was Ted, obviously. Um, and then you've got to pick on the little pictures and it, you've got to guess what it is. Now, it sounds simpler. It sounds simple, but actually, in reality, you've got to sort of look at the pictures and sort of, you know, get a thing about it. Unfortunately, I'm absolutely rubbish at movies. So although I knew this was Kung Fu Panda, it's actually Kung Fu Panda too. And another thing that you've got to think about is you've got to get the spanner absolutely spot on. But there is little hints and resolve buttons if you're totally crap. Like me. Next one. In at number four is a bit of a weird one. Poo. Or pow. It's basically a bit like them little Tamagotchis. You've got this little guy. There he's there. You can wash his face, feed him, um, turn the light off, send him to sleep, take him to the games room. And the really cool bit is that there's loads of little games built in, like this one. So you can actually, uh, you know, if you get fed off of cleaning his face and feeding him, you can take him there and basically take care of him. He plays games, collect coins, experiment with potions in the lab. You can customise his appearance, you know, get him to wear hats and glasses, customise each room's wallpaper, unlock achievements, and uh, you can even play with your friends. It's a good game, but unusual. That's what I like about it. Next one's Nemo's Reef, another one of these sim type games. Basically, you're little Nemo, and you've got to create a, a reef. And. It's one of these things where it starts off a bit slow, but once you get playing it, you get totally addicted. I was playing for this for hours. And uh, basically, you, you plant plants, and the plants grow algae, and the algae feeds other plants, and you basically just plant more stuff and more stuff. And I think there's 50 different kinds of fish you can attract to your little reef. Includes all the characters from Nemo, Dory, Gale, Bloat, Bubbles, etc. And it's uh, it's very addictive. Nemo. Three. In at number two is Bomb the Zombies. Which is very much like Angry Birds. But not. There's the little zombies. And instead of doing it from the side, you're doing it sort of towards them. And the idea is to uh, kill them all. By throwing little hand grenades, like that. They all did that. Lots of different levels. Keep you busy for absolutely... In fact, I think there's 90 levels in the uh, six stages. And you basically get different tools to destroy them, like little boxes of dynamite. So See how I did that there? That's because I've got skill. Perfect. That's me. Perfect. Move. In at number one, we've got Candy Crush Saga. Very easy to play. It's uh, one of these where you get one of these four in a row, three in a row. Blah, blah, blah. There's over a hundred sweet levels. Sweet. Sweet. Lock levels, boosts, charms, um, and even sort of play with sort of interaction with Facebook and all that palava. Really good, nice graphics, and there's little like little bonuses where you can get a, like a little sweet wrapper and mix two sweets together to make a giant sweet stuff like that. Very nice. 
it's one of the, uh, the most downloaded, so it is quite addictive, this one. Sweet. Sweet. That's Candy Crush Saga. Oh, no, 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 no. Sweet. My name's Dave, from Top 10 Up UK. Please like and subscribe. Um,